The readings for the third week of Epiphany. The readings for this third week of Epiphany stretch our faith. Sometimes we are asked by God to say no, and sometimes to say yes. And sometimes we say no when we should say yes. Our first reading is from Jonah, chapter 3, verses 1 through 5 and 10. It's a familiar story. Jonah said no to God by running away. Whether it was his his unsavory vacation inside the fish, or when the fish vomited him onto the shore, he finally said yes to God. And because of it, because of his yes, the people of Nineveh said yes to God and were saved. Just as the outcome of the lives in Nineveh depended upon their turning from uh, their evil ways or repenting. Psalm 62 verses 5 through 12 tells us that our faith in God will lead us to life. It is not a person's station in life, nor wealth, nor work that that does this. It is our faith in God's mercy and grace through Jesus' death and resurrection that gives us life. The second reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 7, 29 through 33 stresses that we must not cling to whatever normally absorbs us. The world will not last. Look to God for life and sustenance. Mark 1, Mark chapter 1 verses 14 through 20, is Mark's succinct description of Jesus' calling of four of his disciples. Their answer was an immediate yes. They left their nets and boats, and in the case of James and John, they left their father and the hired men as well. Which of us could do that? I think many of us would be more like Jonah, or maybe the rich young ruler. As you read the verses assigned for this Sunday, ponder what God is asking you to say no to and what he's asking you to say yes to. Have a really blessed week.